Hi, in this demonstration, I'm going to walk through um, a power app that I've just finished building that builds upon the Power Platform admin connectors um, <clears throat> with, an, with a view to sort of managing uh, my, my Power Platform tenant. So in, in the app, um, I want to be able to manage the apps that are, that are there, the environments, the flows, uh, but I also want to be able to manage access requests. So I have an environment whereby um users fill out a microsoft form uh, i have a flow that's triggered when the form submitted and then that creates a sharepoint list item which i'll show you in a bit um, and that's what the app's hooked up to so these are the four requests that i've received uh, you can see one here um, if i click on show request you can see that the person in this instance it's me the person making the request for user access to my to my uh my environment I've provided some documentation for what I want to do, which is one of the things I need to I need to be compliant with. Um, the the request is for the correct environment, and I've signed a usage policy. If we click some of the other uh, requests, you can see that this request the the user has not signed the usage policy, and therefore I get a button that lights up to um, to email the user to say you need to go off and sign this before you can continue. Uh, if we look at this one. There's no documentation. So in this instance, we have three buttons that are lit up. Again, um, I can email the policy. I can send another email confirming that the, the, this needs to be for a different environment. And I can also request documentation. So this takes a lot of the lifting, you know, the heavy work off of my, um, off of my plate and, and we kind of automate it. So the initial request in this instance is fine. So I can say that um, I've got sufficient information. The app maker has sign the policy, then I can click proceed. Um, now we've moved on to stage two of this request. You can see here, I've got a little bit of history. Uh, in this instance, um, so the next thing, I've got some instructions <coughs> to say that I need to review the documentation to make sure that we've got everything that we need. Uh, I'm just, if you click on the review documentation button, it actually takes you to a SharePoint list item um, where there'll be an attachment. So that's how we're checking for that. So we'll click proceed. The, the next stage is to um, seek approval from the manager. So I click this button, it triggers off uh, an approval process. As soon as that's come back, um, which will say, it, you know, just for the sake of the demo, uh, we then get to approve or reject the access. Now, if I click approve, it will put my AD account into uh, a specific um, security group, which is then obviously got permissions to, to the environment. Let's take a look at the environment. So you can see uh, I've got a number of trial environments here. I have a production environment and my default environment. Now, I don't really want too many trial environments so I can see that this person's created it uh, some time back if I click on delete I can include a message to say uh, this will send an email to say we're, we're going to delete your um, delete your trial environment if you've got anything in there make sure you move it away um, and if I click on delete that's going to send that that email and then trigger the process for deleting trial environments that's how we're going to kind of manage this you can see that she's got two apps in that environment so obviously we'll give her a bit of time to uh, confirm if she needs to move those apps to a different environment um, obviously we can't delete the default environment so that's that's hidden but you can see that i've got 20 apps there 16 flows and 100 connectors uh, if i go into apps i select um, i select an environment and it runs off grabs all of the apps in that environment for me i can click on one and then I get a bit of information about whether the app itself is compliant. Now, uh, I like to make sure that apps are published at least every 60 days. Um, here you can see it was last published 105 days ago. So uh, I can republish that for, for the user. Um, you can see the app makers signed the, the usage policy here in, in this instance. Um, and that's the same for any of these apps. You click on any one of them and it will let you know if uh, <clears throat> If and when it was published. Um, if we look at flows again, we, we'll select an environment, and it will return all of the flows that are in that environment. 
Um, again, as as new properties are exposed in the flow connector, which I believe there there are some additional ones coming soon, um, then I'll be able to do more with it. But yeah, feel free to take a copy of this. This is going to be uploaded to the Power Apps community blog, uh, the, the community blog post that I'll be writing. Um, and I will also export the the SharePoint list. So this is the, the list that hosts all of those requests so that you can see what fields you would need to create if you wanted um, if you wanted this in, in, in your environment. Okay, thanks very much.